obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, a combustion reaction is simulated inside a combustion chamber. The co-volatile mixture, which is in gaseous state, enters the computational domain and mixes with high temperature airflow. As a result, the combustion process takes place. Also, this process will result in different production, including pollutants like NOx or soot and etc., which we will analyze in this project. The geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software and consists of a cylindrical combustion chamber. The geometry of this project is meshed in ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. Also if you expand the species button, underneath it you can see that we have enabled the NOx formation. If you double click on it in the appear window under the pathway section, you can see that we have enabled all the available options in order to better capture the formation of NOx in our computational domain. After that, in the appeared window, uh, in order to change the material components, all you have to do is to click on Fluent Database and then select a new mixture from the list of mixture available in the Fluent software. Also, if you expand the fluid under the cells and condition and double click on it in the appeared window, you can see that we have enabled the option of reaction. If you click on Reaction tab in front of the reaction mechanism, you can see that the software have automatically selected the mechanism of the combustion. If you click on the coal inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit in the appeared window, you can change the settings for this boundary. In the appeared window, under the momentum tab in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see that the velocity magnitude of the coal entering our computational domain is defined to be 30 meters per second. Finally, if you click on the Species tab, under the Species Mass Fraction, you can see that the volume fraction of the coal entering this boundary is defined to be 1. After clicking on the hot air boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be mass flow inlet. By clicking on edit, just like the previous slides, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. For example, in the appear window under the momentum tab, you can see the mass flow rate of the hot air entering our computational domain. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. After defining the plane, in order to extract 2D contours, we right click on Contours button and then select New. Now, in order to extract another contour, all we have to do is to change the contours of section. For example, in this slide, you can see that we have changed our contours from temperature to NOx, and we are going to extract the mass fraction of pollutant and O. After that, again, by selecting our defined plane and then clicking on Save or Display button, the software will show you this contour. And now in this contour, you can easily see the place where we have the generation of soot in our computational domain. Finally, the summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.